Dubai Sustainable City The UAE is creating a massive eco-friendly city. The United Arab Emirates Sustainable City is located just outside of Dubai. Work on the project started in 2013 and is slated to end at some point in 2018. It is home to 11 so-called greenhouse biodomes that act in combination with garden farms to create food. The sustainable city has 500 villas and 89 apartment buildings. Reportedly, the paint on the villas repel ultraviolet rays and the roofs are laden with solar panels. The solar roofing is also used to cover the city's various parking areas. Those panels on the homes and carriages reportedly act in combination with other renewable power sources to generate 10 megawatts of power. According to Tawahol Tech, the city agreed in January of 2018 to allow testing of driverless electric vehicles inside it. That is reportedly part of Dubai's plans to make a quarter of public transport driverless by 2030. Cars are banned in most parts of the city, with residents getting around via electrical smart cars, golf carts, bicycles, and horse-drawn carriages. According to Business Insider, 1,800 people have bought homes in the city, and 900 are renting. Getting Mega Saudi Arabia plans to build a $500 billion mega city. Looking for a new vacation destination? How about Saudi Arabia? No, seriously. The Saudi Arabian government says it plans to build a $500 billion mega city that stretches into Jordan and Egypt and is completely powered by renewable energy. The project is called NEOM and will measure 10,230 square miles, which is 33 times larger than New York City. One of the main goals of NEOM will be to diversify Saudi Arabia's economy in an attempt to move it beyond oil. The megacity will focus on industries such as energy and water, biotechnology, food, advanced manufacturing, and entertainment. The $500 billion will come from the Saudi government, its sovereign wealth fund, and local and international investors. U.S. shows off new military base in South Korea. Looks like someone's got a brand new toy, or state-of-the-art military base, to be more exact. The U.S. has been working on one of its largest military overseas construction projects at Camp Humphreys in South Korea, located about 50 miles south of Seoul. Once the $11 billion expansion is finished, the installation will house a majority of the approximately 30,000 U.S. troops in the country. The 3,454-acre base is the size of a small city. A veterinary clinic, a dental clinic and a food court opened up in October. The massive complex has new headquarter buildings, an airstrip, firing ranges, barracks, motor pools, and communications facilities. In the event of an open war with North Korea, Camp Humphreys would give the U.S. forces the ability for rapid deployment to the front lines. U.S. troops are spread across 174 bases in South Korea. Camp Humphreys will allow the Americans to concentrate their forces. The military plans to cut the number of bases in South Korea down to 96 by 2020. Norwegian billionaire building world's biggest yacht. A Norwegian businessman is giving away a sizable part of his fortune to build this boat. The research expedition vessel is currently being constructed in Norway's barge shipyard. According to Yacht Harbor, it will be the world's largest vessel when completed in 2020. The vessel is 182 meters long. It can carry 60 scientists and 40 crew for research voyages, and 36 guests and 54 crew for private excursions. The boat will reportedly be fitted with advanced sonar technology, as well as a trawl that can go to 3,000 meters in depth and a moon pool for underwater vehicles. Any of you guys planning on renting the boat? If so, let us know below. World's largest offshore wind farm? A sand bank in the North Sea could be home to a vast offshore wind farm by 2027, possibly the world's largest. A Dutch company is planning to build a massive offshore wind farm on Dogger Bank in the North Sea, which will include an artificial island equipped with a runway, harbor, and other facilities. The turbines harness wind energy to generate alternating current, which will be sent via cables to the island. There, it will be converted into direct current to avoid incurring power losses when it's transmitted to the UK, Belgium, the Netherlands, Germany, Denmark, and Norway. 
The current largest offshore wind farm, the London Array, can produce 630 megawatts of power. The Dogger Bank project, if it comes to fruition, is set to produce over 30,000 megawatts. Energy company Tenet will likely shoulder the 1.5 billion euro cost of building the island hub and source wind farm developers to install the turbines.